This video is sponsored by Adobe. Hi, this is Pariah Burke for Creative Pro. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and update a table of contents in Adobe InDesign. Here I have an appendix for one of my books. This is the Mastery Check Appendix. It's for making sure that you understood the lessons in the book and, and giving you the correct answer so you can compare your results to it. You can see I have different Mastery Check questions and solutions for each of the different chapters in the book. Going back to the start of the appendix here, I want to place a table of contents right here so that somebody can easily find every Mastery Check question. That begins with a paragraph style. Now I happen to have my paragraph styles panel over here on the right already docked. If you don't have yours open, you can always go to window styles, paragraph styles. You can see I have my styles organized in various groups and I have all my mastery check styles in a mastery check group. The questions are this MCH2 mastery check heading level two. So I'm going to right click on that and choose edit MCH2. And this is the style that I've applied consistently to those questions. I'm not going to edit this directly. I just wanted to show it to you. So now, as long as I've got a paragraph style, I can create a table of contents. So I'm going to close out of this without making any changes. Now I want to create a table of contents. So I'm going to go up to layout table of contents, and then you'll see here the table of contents dialog box. On the left are the styles to include. On the right are the, all of the styles, all the paragraph styles within this document. First thing I'm going to do is give my TOC a title. I'll call it Mastery Check Content. Then in the list of all the paragraph styles, I'm going to scroll down until I find MCH2. And then you'll see it even says the paragraph styles group name in parentheses. Then I'll click Add and add that to the left, the styles to include in my TOC. I'll leave the style for the TOC entries themselves exactly as it is. And then I'll just click to load up my cursor with the table of contents. And then I'll drag and create my text frame from the TOC. Now it doesn't look the way I really want it to because it's using the same style, the actual H2 style. So let me go back in here and instead of leaving it as same style, I'm going to create a new paragraph style just for the TOC entries. and I'll call this TOC level one. Then I'll go to basic character formats and it's set to InDesign's default Minion Pro regular 12 points, which is not what I want for this particular document. In this document, my main sans serif family that I'm using is Freight Sans Pro. So I'll start typing freight and there we go. And then I'll check the style. Yep, book is what I want. Let's reduce the size down to about 10 points. All right, now, so I've got that. Let's click OK. Now I've got a new loaded cursor and I drop it. And you can see now, instead of being the same MCH2 look, I get a unique look for these individual TOC entries because they now have their own paragraph style. But yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled with this. So I'm going to edit the style. So let me scroll up to the top of the paragraph styles panel here. There's TOC level one that I just made. I'll right click and choose edit it. Then I'll go into the indents and spacing. Let's put a little space after, turn on the preview so I can see what I'm doing. Go to basic character formats. And I guess I really do want this a little bit larger. So uh, 12 is a little too much. Yeah, 11.5 points works for me. And then let's push those numbers a little bit further away from their entries. What about putting it here? Yeah, that, that's looking pretty good, at least to start. Let me hit okay on this. Now you can go ahead and continue customizing. You could change the typeface, change the color. You could add dot leaders. You could do all sorts of stuff, but I'm going to leave that for now. Let's see what happens if we have to update the table of contents. Let me go down to the text frame section here and let's say I don't want this first mastery check. I've decided, you know what? I'm just going to pull that out. So I delete it. Now everything else rolls back up and that goes through all the pages. So now every one of those page numbers is wrong. How do we update this? Simple. Either put your type tool cursor right inside the text frame or using the black arrow selection tool, click on and select the frame itself. And then just go to layout, update table of contents. None of the other options are changing. We're only changing the content of the TOC and the page numbers where that content actually falls. 
that question I omitted has been removed and all the other contents page numbers have been updated to accommodate that revision. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You create your table of contents, you format it the way you want with a paragraph style, and then anytime things change or right before you're ready to publish your document, just update the table of contents and make sure it all worked. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.